my friends, welcome back to the Bavarian Outback. Today it's getting colder and we do a little flower pot heater, tea candle light heater video. You know, I did these videos many, many years ago and now everybody is trying to catch this train about the flower pot heater. And everybody builds it wrong. And I don't know why, you know, everybody tries to take a little piece of the cake and I don't know why they are not making themselves sure or try it that they build it correct. You know the two differences I told you. The first one, the good one, the proper one, the safe one. Like I build it, like I showed it in my other videos. Links up here. The other one. And we built two similar ones to make a little bit clear what are the differences. The other one, the dangerous one, is also with a subconstruction, not a, like this, it's just a plate or something. And then the flower pots are hanging on a pole in the middle, like this, and the holes are closed. And in the proper version, in the good one, the holes are both open. Here the holes are closed, so it collects lots of heat under the first flower pot and this is very dangerous. So this one, the bad one with the threaded rod. I hope that's the correct word. It's a cool word and it's the correct word, I hope. So this one is really, really dangerous and I will show it to you later. So put this to the side, we will build both of them. So we have to build one because I don't have one with a threaded rod because it's crap and all the people discussing about flower pot heaters. The one says it's great, the other one says it's totally crap. If you build it like this, they are right. Everybody's right. The one who say it's great and it's heating, building this one. The one who say it's crap, building this one. And the one with the biggest mouse at all, they built no one at all. They're just discussing about 40 watts of power that a candlelight has and all these stupid stupid things they trying to tell me and if you heat the room you have to open the window from time to time not only with the flower pot heater if you are two people in a room and you don't open the window you can also get a problem with the oxygen okay we start building this one because I don't have it because it's crap but I show you the difference and a lot of people said make a little Thing that we can see what's the difference and how dangerous are these ones with the closed holes and the other thing is some of them have these with the closed holes and then they realize that it is a problem when they don't have holes in it because it's getting too hot and all the paraffin and the candles are melting and then the whole thing burns what do they do they start to drill holes in the flower pots and that's the most stupid thing of all because when you drill a hole you hurt the surface and when you hurt the surface you destroy the flower pot you know and if it have a little crack inside and the temperature rises about 50 degrees then it will blow into pieces of course it will yeah so don't drill holes take flower pots with holes and build this one you know the good one I will place this one here on a piece of wood because I don't have two fireplaces or two campfire places outside and the other one I will place the bad one with the threaded rod I like this word the bad one I will place on my campfire because I'm very very sure that this one will get really dangerous and you will see what could happen to you when you use it inside your house. So, a lot of talk, now we go and try it and have fun with this video. When 
ich denke, wir unterstützen das ein bisschen, dass das alles ein bisschen schneller geht. So, ich hoffe, man sieht es auf der Kamera. Bei dem hat sich jetzt tatsächlich das Wachs entzündet. Und bei dem hier ist noch gar nichts passiert. Der fängt jetzt auch zum Qualmen an. Ihr seht es, was gar nicht so gut ist. Und das ist genau das Problem an den Töpfen. Dieses Ding hier, lebensgefährlich. Dieses Ding hier, ihr seht es, es gibt immer noch Gas. Ich hau immer noch volle Kanne rein. Es entzündet sich nichts. Das Einzige, was passiert ist, dass es richtig schön warm wird. Ihr seht es, glaube ich, ganz deutlich den Unterschied. Ja, was soll ich noch sagen, Leute? Was soll ich noch sagen? So, my friends, that's it for today. I hope you learned something, as I did, because I never expected that it will get so so crazy i think it was very interesting how badly this bursted into flames and we gave them a really really hard time these two flower pot heaters and you exactly saw the difference so don't use the one with the threaded rod <laughs> in your house don't use it at all Better use the flower pots the way I showed it in my other videos. Yeah, and another very important thing is this is an absolutely emergency thing. That's not for using it like instead of your heater, that's for the absolutely worst case. No electricity, no heating. Your room gets down to zero degrees or five degrees and then you're happy when you can heat it up to 10 or 15 degrees and that's in a room with 10 square meters it's absolutely possible you cannot heat 30 square meters and you cannot heat your whole flat or whatever but in an emergency case to keep yourself warm like they did in world war one and world war two that's where they invented it they had nothing everything was wet and they only had their military cookers and they used the military cookers and the flower pots to keep themselves a little bit warm yeah i think that's enough information for today don't buy crap then you don't have to litter so much and have a great weekend my friends